Hi, this is Francisco Bujan from VitalCoaching.com. We are talking about breakups for men and for women, and the topic for this video is what if your ex was your best and only friend? This question was posted on my channel, and it was posted by a guy, so I'm going to answer the question within that context. It's a bit easier for me to communicate it within that way. Uh, you know, I'm talking for a man, and uh, the, the woman did break up with, uh, with him, but if you are a woman, and uh, your boyfriend or uh, husband did break up with you, you can apply exactly the same strategy, okay? So, when uh, you are in a relationship and your girlfriend is, your only fr is the only friend that you have, the only, you know, contact, social contact that you have, that's not a very nice situation to be in. Why? Because you become extremely in, uh, dependent from each other. And uh, when you're in this kind of situation, you end up being very needy and very demanding on the other person. Most of the times you feel extremely vulnerable because if the, your girlfriend doesn't do what you expect very often, it makes you feel very insecure and uh, you end up um, being on a power level which is relatively low. So if you are or have been in this situation, my advice is very simple. Do something about it. Start looking at a wider social circle and start activating your social life in a very constructive way. Uh, to do that, you have to boost your social power, you have to add qualities and skills that you don't have maybe yet, and uh, the goal is simply to start interacting and connecting with new friends, new people, more frequently and more easily. So whether you are in a breakup situation and your girlfriend did, uh, did break up with you, or if you are still in a relationship, that's not a good situation to be in anyway. If she is your only friend, if she's your only social contact, then you need to do something about it anyway. So when you break up, of course, it's much more challenging because if she was your only, you know, support in life uh, as a friend, the only person with who you would go out, hang out, then uh, of course it's more challenging, but you know, the challenge is basically the same. It means that you still have to go out there, start interacting with people, don't isolate yourself, start reconnecting with your social life, and boost your social power, okay? You, go you can go back to vitalcoaching.com slash breakupformen.htm and get the program that I have there. This is a full set of strategies. I have an ebook, audios, and videos now on this channel, plus lots of uh, expert advice that I gave to, uh, to people in breakup situations. So go and get this program right now. It's at vitalcoaching.com slash breakupformen.htm. If you are a woman, go to vitalcoaching.com slash breakupforwomen. Dot HTM. Breakup for women is just in one word, okay? The full set of strategies on breakup situations is there, and I really encourage you to go and get it right now if you are in a breakup situation. This will save you lots of time and lots of trouble. I recorded this material and uh, posted it on, on my site, especially for men and women in breakup situations. And uh, honestly, um, I have been coaching dozens and dozens of guys and women on this, on this uh, specific topic and um, you can save lots of time if you have the right set of strategies. So go and get it now. Now to come back to, uh, to, know, you know, to your challenge, when you want to boost again your social life and this uh, you will need to do it anyway when you're in a breakup situation because you don't want to isolate yourself. When you want to boost your social life, it's very important that you understand a bit more about social dynamics. And I cover this in detail as well in, um, you know, in, my, uh, in my program. So go and check it and, uh, and get these strategies. Now, the reason why you feel like when you're in a breakup situation, when, this, when you're in this breakup zone, that it's a challenge, that it's an emotional challenge, is it because you really shift from being two persons to being just one. And when you are in a couple situation, basically you start relying emotionally on the other person. You create a clutter, uh, a cluster, <laughs> sorry, a cluster of energy, which is you and her. And this is what really feeds you. You know, it's a polarized kind of couple, and this is what represents your uh, emotional base. So when you shift from being two people to being just one, then this is a bit of a challenge because you start relying much more on yourself and this is where you have to give, get your energy a bit more. So uh, expanding your social circle is really something that is going to give you a boost and on top of that, new dating opportunities. Take care for now and enjoy. Bye-bye.